Becky Edwards into the box. Masser there, Masser goal! Dash on, we have history in Houston! That has been a long time coming. We've been waiting for that one, and you can tell she has too. Willing to risk that yellow card. Nice little tap in. Karina's leaning the wrong way. Great feed from the general, Becky Edwards, making up for her PK miss. Oh, Dash fans who weren't here tonight are going to rue not being here. What a moment here in the Bayou City. In the 51st minute, it's Ella Masser, the first goal in Houston for the Houston Dash, and a brilliant, it must be said, assist from Becky Edwards. We're all tied at one, Chicago and Houston. Here's Brian again. McDonald's onside, Masser's in the middle. Can Masser get there? She does! And a similar goal celebration we saw here over a year ago. In the same with the goal. goal, and it's one nothing dash. Same end of the field, same celebration. She doesn't care about that yellow. It doesn't really matter now. First goal of the season. Great finish to get it around to listen there, and as she promised, a great celebration that will probably earn her a yellow. And that's got to feel good, Matt, after playing a whole season at fullback to get the chance to be up tough and put your team ahead 1-0. First assist of the year for Jess McDonald. And I think that play sort of tells you who Ella Master is as a player. Pure effort, desire, a brave challenge at the near post. And a goal is the result. Shim, deep ball, Nadia! Shim under pressure, people on both sides of her. Great little ball off the top of her head, just kind of flicks it on past Kottmeyer. Great goal by Nadim. Shim with her first assist of the season. Nadim with her fifth goal of the season. Down to stoppage time. Took a couple minutes to get that. Adim lines up. Referee gives a signal. Lines up. Back of the net. 1 1. Sky blue goal. We are tied at 1 1. Fans love it. Seattle's looking for a quick restart. Usually you take the ball and you're nervous and then you, uh, you start like getting concentrated. But I was like, why is it taking so long? But I. I, I I had to score, there's no other option. I mean, uh, PK, I have to score. Little by little, we're, we're gaining confidence and uh, it's good for Nadia, it's good for the team to get. Safe by Kopmeyer. There's the corner. It's in! Maybe Maya Hayes, maybe Kerr. Kerr celebrating. It's her fourth of the night. It's a late winner for Sky Blue. 
seconds after smashing a penalty off the crossbar. She rises highest, her fourth of the night, her 15th of the season. A beautiful service on the corner kick. Hayes and Kerr are there. Hayes thinks she's got it. Kerr thinks she's got it. They don't care, it's in the back of the net. And Sky Blue have come all the way back from three nothing down. For a late Sky Blue win. It's in! Curse celebrating, it's her fourth of the night. It's a late winner for Sky Blue. The improbable has happened at your sack field. Every inch of this field drenched as Nagasato tries to line everybody up in front of her. And this is where you just have to get it on frame, make the yes. goalkeeper make a play, follow at all costs. It's like Nagasato is down in a track runner stance there. Now she takes the kick. It is on frame, it's coughed up, and there's a goal for Chicago! I think it's probably wise that Sam Kerr does not opt for the backflip in this type of weather, <laughs> although I don't put it past her to break out her trademark celebration. So Jen Hoy, the Pennsylvania native, who actually spent 2013 through 17 with the Chicago Red Stars coming on against her former side, was included in that three-team trade on draft day as Gilliland sends a great ball across, and it's Mott's again! The Gilliland Mott's connection, non-stop to the postseason. Chicago opening up the second half with another goal. It's 2-0 to the home side. An absolutely dream start to the second half. O'Hara, she'll send it in. Sent on, and that's gonna find the back, and we have an equalizer. Utah Rose FC have found the time by Rachel Corsi here late at this one. It's well deserved. They have been the better team in the second half. You have your heart ripped out when Haran scores, but you come right back moments later. A perfect delivery, Corsi sells out. French was on her back heel. She could not close the gap close, uh, quickly enough. And what a dramatic turn here. Two teams with their stars back growing haymakers in the final five minutes of the match. This is absolutely as good as it gets. Horsey in the 90th minute, three minutes after Lindsey Horan looked like she might have three points for the Portland Thorns. And now we are all knotted up. And you wonder if maybe one of these teams has something left as Laura Harvey will look to use her last sub 